So I just recovered from my thought of Devin replacing me from my job, uh, although I don't have one. OpenAI just released project Strawberries AI O1 Mini and O1 Preview that can do deep thinking, logical thinking through chain of thought, something like that. Basically an AI that can think. Uh, I'm quite sure it's not taking over humans. But let's see if the claims are anywhere near truth or it's just another Devin kind of shit. Now, this new AI of OpenAI is officially called O1, nicknamed Project Strawberry. But it was previously called Qstar. I mean, quite a good rebranding, because Qstar sounds like a villain straight out of Terminator. But Strawberry sounds like a character out of Willy Wonka's factory. What are you? Now, let's begin with some interesting thing about Project Strawberry. If you look at this chart, you can see in competitive mathematics, where GPT-4 scored an accuracy of 13.4 percent O1 preview scored an accuracy of 56.7 percent O1 model scored a whopping 83.3 percent also the performance of O1 and O1 preview in competitive coding is impressive but the most mind-bending part is O1 and O1 previews accuracy is higher than human efforts in PhD level science question that's crazy but you know what is even more crazy cognition lab the company that is behind Devon that is desperate to remove the existence of human software engineers shows a significantly higher effect when integrated with O1 Mini and O1 Preview compared to GPT-4, which means Scott still has a chance to but the real question is, what makes this AI different from other AI? What makes it powerful and smart? I mean, how does it actually think? Now, unlike GPT-4, which is a large language model, or LLM for short, that generates response based on pre-trained knowledge without real-time research or verification and is designed to generate human-like text by understanding patterns and predicting what comes next in the sentence. Strawberry is also an LLM, but what makes it different is its multi-step reasoning capability. In this process, Strawberry AI AI breaks down complex tasks into smaller steps or sub-problems called reasoning token. Then the AI sequentially uses its capability to analyze and find solution for each one of the reasoning token. After solving the sub-problems, the AI integrates the solution to form an answer. Then a background research step to verify the solution's accuracy and correct from external side. If any errors are found, it can revisit the relevant sub-problems and make necessary adjustments for a more accurate final outcome. And that makes this AI very powerful powerful and potentially dangerous. Like according to this Vox article, Project Strawberry's AI with its advanced reasoning capabilities could potentially assist individuals who already possess knowledge in nuclear, biological or chemical risk. And OpenAI has labeled Strawberry model at medium risk, which means only people with knowledge in specific field can exploit it. But honestly speaking, I don't know how accurate these claims are because I still haven't used it yet. But if you have used O1 Mini or O1 Preview, please tell me your thoughts on it. Like, is it really good? Luckily, many people have used it. So let's see what are their common complaints. So the first problem that people mentioned is that it takes a significant amount of time to think and generate answers. Also, it doesn't generate polished human-like text like GPT-4 does. And you need a very specific and detailed prompt for high-quality relevant answers. And most importantly, it has made many logical errors. So what we can say is that Project Strawberry hasn't fully met its expectations. But definitely, it's the beginning. Of course, course OpenAI will improve which will definitely make this AI very powerful and as we know with great power comes great responsibility. So time will tell how this AI handles its power responsibly or...